The baby boomer population is growing larger by the minute. And you can see the growth right here in the northwest suburbs. In 2000, the population over the age of 50 in Brooklyn Park was around 18%. In 2010, that number grew to over 25%. As Sonia Goins reports, the surge is causing changes in the housing market. Man in there, Ross. Uh -oh. <laughs> Really bad letters. Wayne Smith and his wife Christina Papiandi are in their late 60s. No the Brooklyn Park couple is part of a growing trend. We've been in the other house 28 years. The baby boomers gave up their four level home for a one level town home. We wanted to get away from a four level split, which entailed walking up and down stairs all day long. They even modified their home to make it easier to get around. Because we're getting older, our friends are getting older, we put in a, an elevated toilet, which is uh, more comfortable for most people. But with one level living getting harder to find, these two are lucky. To me, there's just not enough one levels being built. Real estate expert Mitch Sparger says one level living space is being snatched up by baby boomers. And so as soon as something pops up, a little cute town home, a little one level, a slab on grade, they're sold. Look what happened when he tried to find a one-level home in Maple Grove. There's actually 122 homes for sale in that area. When he narrows it down to a home with one level, it's slim pickings. That it took him from 122 down to nine. There's already a couple of them that are already sold contingent. And there's another challenge for some seniors trying to buy a home. Right. If you're 70 years old and you want to take out a loan on a home, you're not necessarily going to get one because you don't have an income, you don't have certain things, so you really need to sell your home in order to buy a home. Now those challenges have many seniors staying put. A new report by Fannie Mae shows that even the oldest baby boomers are deciding to remain in their single family homes. My wife died here and I'd like to die here. Ralph Stedman has lived in his New Hope home for more than 50 the, years. Okay, did she put your cards in there yet? He's really comfortable and plans on staying in his home rather than going to an assisted living facility. You seem to lose your independence, you know? I can go out and go around the yard and that stuff. These boomers the say they plan on growing old none. gracefully in a home that's acceptable to Jeez. their lifestyles. Place. The memories stay in your heart, and it's time to think about yourself and what's the best for the best quality of life. In Brooklyn Park, <laughs> Sonia Goins, 12 News. Many Northwest cities are increasing the amount of senior housing to accommodate the growing baby boomer population.